Hey, what's up everybody? It's Yogi Diesel back with episode 14 on this long journey to Beer Quest. Where we buy the beer and we take the quest. I hope everybody's been enjoying all the previous episodes. And here we go. So this one time again, we have a matching versus comparison whatever you want to call it and a bonus it's not a super strong one so I figured eh, let's throw it in So here we got um, Springhouse Gruesome, Little Gruesome, Peanut Butter Jelly Stout, uh, Pennsylvania, so they have a Pennsylvania brew. But a nice comparison. You know what I mean? Because the Rochester peanut butter jelly time. Alright, so there's no alcohol. Let's see, canned 022119. So we are about a year deep. So that is pretty much why I brought the other two out too. Because I do remember that this was in there for a while. Came in a four pack. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> it sure was alive, huh? So, as I was going to say before that happened, um, like close by, I don't really actually have anything. I got a towel, no paper towels. Um, so, fuck it, whatever, moving on, spilt beer, whatever. So it came in a four pack, pints, uh, there's no alcohol percentage, no any type of information. I can smell, I can smell the sweet jelly. I can smell like a weird peanut butter. Like, like the whole, like even the peanut shell. Peanut husk. So, um, I'm just, you know, it's pretty flipping dark, just like the last spring house. open space, the, the jelly kind of winds down, and the husk comes out more. Let's see how it tastes. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I 
don't know if, I mean, we all know that it's expired, and it's definitely a bit skunk. But, I don't like it. And I could say that based off the other three that I had. I came home, cooled, chilled them. I think I let them chill for a couple of days and then drank them. But I think by the time I purchased them, they might have already passed a good drink by. <laughs> and then sitting in my fridge for that long. Going down, you get that s smug. But the problem is, is that that weird taste that I'm tasting and this weird smell was in the last spring house in that red velvet cake. Which again, really didn't taste like red velvet cake. Um, this has the essence of peanut butter jelly. It has a strong essence of stout, but there's also this weird taste to it that I just don't like. I don't like it. Chester Mills Beer Co. <coughs> and, you know, again, 06, 01, 20, I think is its cutoff date. Well, it says canned 02, 21. So, milkshake stout series, milk stout, ale brewed with milk sugars, cocoa nibs, cocoa butter, and Concord grapes. Let's see. Seven malt blend, 5.2 alcohol, 20 IBUs. Da -da 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 -da. That's it. And, you know, like the other one, it's a sticker. There's like some weird green little demon guy. This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Where to be cocoa and cocoa butter? Like it's a chocolate peanut butter jelly time. Whoa. Ooh, what is that? That is interesting. That smells like a like a candle. Like a good candle. Like you want that to burn, you know, when you having the, that nice company over. Cover up your tortilla socks. So sweet smelling. Mm, I wish peanut butter jelly sandwiches smelled like that. Mm, let's find out how it tastes. Oh, I'm excited. Is it light? It's a lot lighter than the last one, right? Miss, miss this little spilt beer. It's got some light brown. Still dark. Nice head. Oh man, that smells so good. What is going on here? Mm. Let's find 
God have a test. Hmm. this like powder candy flavor to it Kind of peanut butter and deli time-ish, but very, I don't know. The smell is really good, but tasting the smell, I'm not really enjoying it that much. Like it is so smooth. You can taste that grape sweetness and that's probably what it is. It's very <clears throat> overpowering and it's not necessarily, it's kind of like a malty version of Reese's. Mixed with this super sweet sort of greatness. <laughs> Excuse me. I just really enjoy smelling it. Kind of like a soda. Like one of those flavored sodas. It's very similar to a flavored soda. Whereas the Lil Gruesome Peanut Butter Jelly Stout was very much a stout beer. This, if you gave to someone, they probably wouldn't believe that it's even a beer until they had about three of them and then they start feeling drunk uh, at 5.2 it's going to take about three of these for me three actual pints <laughs> to get it going again I'm not going to say it's bad personally no not necessarily a beer for me. Um, if someone was, if it was on the menu somewhere, on draft or can, bottle, and some, one of my friends were like, oh, I should try that. I'd be like, eh, you may not like it. And that's as good as I would say. I couldn't see myself wanting to buy a six pack. If it came in a variety pack, like if there was a couple, it was a part of like three or four or five different flavors or something, then I'd be like, okay, there's a couple of them in there. I could drink those and, and appreciate them. But it's definitely not what I'm looking for. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know where I put the rest of that. <laughs> huh. 
now we kind of know after having a comparison. Maybe peanut butter and jelly stouts are not what I'm looking for. Now this one, <clears throat> as I was <coughs> looking, I thought, okay, I have another beer that seemed, I thought to see, that might be similar than another comparison beer, but I was wrong. So this is Rochester Mills Beer Co. Milkshake Stout Series. Sweet as pie, milk stout, ale brewed with milk sugars, cocoa nibs, and brown sugar. Now, I believe these are pictures of pecans, which led me to believe that this was going, is going to be a pecan beer, but I mean, it doesn't say anything about pecans, so I'm not putting it aside. I mean, there's pecans, so I figure this might be a pecan pie, but I was very unsure, so I didn't want to put it next to this other beer that I had in mind for a little side-by-side -side comparison. Also, I was basically requested to drink this Rochester up as, as soon as possible. Hmm. What's that smell? I'm not really thinking. I'm acting like it. <laughs> Getting any smell. It's a nice brown. Pretty good. I'm getting like a gram. Ram hop. Yeah, that's it. I'm not I'm not even really smelling the ale. It's a 5.27 malt blend. That's it. You know, it's Rochester, and Michigan. Right. I know it's in Michigan. No, Auburn Hills. Rochester Mills Production Brewery, Auburn Hills, Michigan. So, Michigan beer. Which is, which is great. You know, just go to beercoast.com. Find out all the information you want on, on these beers that I've been drinking for the past so many years. So many episodes. We're at 14 episodes doing this. So how's it taste? I got pecan pie. But like very, very like I'm searching. very low like the gruesome's flavor was like here 
and then the peanut butter jelly time was like here and this one's like down here for flavor I get a very strong like pecan -y brown sugar Which I would have to say, you know, like, bottom line, they have a pretty good, like, decent ale. Like, their recipe for ale is pretty consistent. Like, that backing ale, beer, that all-around beer flavor that has been in these milk stouts has been pretty consistent with its flavor. Like it being so many different flavors, but also coming from an ale background, that ale background has been basically the same flavor in each and every Rochester that I have had. And I've had a lot of different beers from the, from the same breweries where I don't find that consistency where they have lost, you know, like if they make an IPA, they don't have that staple, you know. They all taste different in every direction. Like, they're trying to outduce another brewery's version of that beer. And I think Rochester Mills has found their niche by not changing their beer, just the flavor of the beer. Or the flavors that they mix with the beer, the flavors that they want to complement their beer. And I can respect that. Even if I don't really like these two, one, I don't like pecans. Never have, and they probably even if I drink more and more of these pecan style beers, they're probably never going to grow on me. So, but it's still an overall good beer. I would say to somebody who wants, who, who enjoys pecans and likes pecan pies or very much enjoys brown sugar. I would say you should try this beer if it's on the menu. You might enjoy it. Opposed to the peanut butter jelly time where I say you might not like it. And with the little gruesome peanut butter jelly stout, uh, you probably aren't going to like it. Because most people aren't drinking beer outside of their norm. They have typical beers that they enjoy drinking that they could go get at whatever corner store or beer store that they go to <clears throat> so they're not worrying about anything other than getting through drinking those few, four or five or however many beers they want to drink easily without a fuss they're not there for flavor, quality. They just want to knock back some, get to where they want to go, and that's it. Whereas the ones that we can definitely appreciate these beers, you watch, you like, you subscribe, you share. 
Or you don't. I mean, there's no anything. But I personally would not care to buy this again. And I rather it not be in a variety pack if I found myself buying it. <laughs> I'd like the peanut butter and jelly time to be in there just to say to say my roommates and say hey you should drink this you might not like it but you should try this just to say you've had one of these beers um i will explain if i remember on the other pecan style beer So this has been episode 14. <coughs> Another three beers for you. If you don't like my review, find the beers, try them yourself do it yourself it's better that way anyways right don't take my word for it try all the beers yourself I'm Yogi Diesel this review's over <laughs> <laughs>